Good day, ACC fans, and welcome to the Industrial Punk Race League leaderboards. I've created a, a leaderboard system for Assetto Corsa Competizione, and you can access it through my website, industrialpunk.jp. I'll leave a link in the description. And it starts off in Japanese, so if you want to change to English, you can click on the English flag. And in the menu at the top, there's a option for ACC leaderboard. Click on there and you'll be taken to the Race League top page where you can uh, view the leaderboards. And that's every track in Assetto Corsa Competizione. So how do we upload data to this website? So if we look at the top menu and uh, click on the how to upload data. So how to upload your MoTeC data from Assetto Corsa Competizione. So what do you need? Okay, well, of course you need uh, the game, Assetto Corsa Competizione, which you can grab from Steam. You also need MoTeC i2 software, which is a free download. And you can download from the page linked here, or you can do a direct download. And we also need a race league account for my website. So if you click the link to the i2 software, and that will take you to the MoTeC homepage. So if you scroll down on the MoTeC website, you can see that the latest version would be 0.455, this one. So it's a free download and you can grab from here. Or if you wish, I have a direct link here. You can click and it will download directly. So just uh, download and install. So first of all, we need to uh, find the telemetry files that Assetto Corsa saves for us. So as it says here, if you've uh, started Assetto Corsa competition at least once, it will have created a folder in your documents folder under Assetto Corsa Competizione and under MoTeC. So we can find that in Windows if we click on Documents, Assetto Corsa Competizione, MoTeC, and here is where it will save all your telemetry files. So you can see the uh, file location is there. So next we need to record the data from the game. So how do we get Assetto Corsa to record our lap times? Well let's go into Assetto Corsa and start the game. So once we're in Assetto Corsa, we can choose uh, any game mode. We can go single player, multiplayer, anyone will do. So for now, I'll choose single player and select um, what you would like here. So here's my uh, custom liveried industrial punk McLaren. And I'll be making a video later on how to create your own custom liveries in Assetto Corsa Competizione. So we'll select that car, any track and any race format will do, and just click start session. This will take us into the game. So once we're in the game, we just need to go to the, uh, the setup button, setup tab. And here we can choose any, any setup that we've previously saved. So let's say we wanted to take that one, or you can set up one yourself. We just need to go into the current setup, and then under the electronics tab, we have an option down here for telemetry laps. And this is how many laps will be recorded, which will be viewable in the 
MoTeX software. Let's record four laps of data. And once that's done, do your race and it will record the four laps of data. So let's go back to the Race League web page. So now in your MoTeC folder, in your documents folder, you should see a file of the recorded lap data. And all we need to do is double click on that one and it will open in the MoTeC software. And as you can see, it's recorded the whole data, so it would have been four laps. But for Race League, we can only upload one lap at a time. So how do we know which lap to upload? If we go up into the Data tab on the left-hand side here, it automatically selects the fastest valid lap time. And that's the one we would like to upload. So how do we upload this data? Well, first of all, we need to export this data to a CSV file. So let's check the website on how we do that. So if we check under exporting lap data from Motec i2, you see we go to file export data and that brings up this window and the settings we need is in the data extent we need uh, current current range lap number so current range lap number three it automatically selected the fastest lap and then in the export options we want the output file format to be csv file so export options output file format we want that to be csv next option is output sample rate to be 10 hertz output sample rate 10 hertz and the last two are include timestamp yes and include distance data yes so timestamp yes and distance data yes and now we can export that file so we'll just put that on the desktop and leave the name the same and the data was successfully exported. And that's all we need from the MoTeX software now. So next is how, how do we upload this data to the Race League website? Well, first of all, we need to either create an account or log in if you've already created an account. So if you need to create an account, just click up here on create an account that will take you to the create an account page where you enter your your name the same name you use in a set of course of competizione enter your email address and password and then a confirmation email will be sent to the address you enter here and it will include a link that you need to click and that will confirm your email address and also activate your account so you won't be able to log in to your account until you have activated it via this email. So once you have that, you can log in. And you'll be taken directly to the dashboard page. So from the dashboard page, you can see how many um, lap times you've uploaded. And it will tell you on the right hand side here. So Barcelona, I've uploaded one lap. Bathurst, uh, one lap. Brands Hatch, no laps. Okay, and if you would like to see the laps that you've uploaded, just click on the name. Click on the track name and it will show you your uploaded track or tracks. It will be listed here. So how do we get the data right? So this big green button says upload MoTeC data. Click there. And all we need to do from here is uh, select the file, 
that we exported from Motec. And as you can see, it's uh, Silverstone. And click Upload. And you should uh, get a confirmation if your uh, file is uploading successfully. And if we scroll down to Silverstone, we now have two laps. And this is the latest one that just uploaded. So now if you'd like to see the lap data that came that came in with the uh, Motec, we can click on the car name and it will take us to a page where we can view all the data that came in from Motec. So from here it gives you the date and time that you set the lap, the lap time, your maximum speed, your minimum speed, your average speed, and which car you set it in. So let's go back to dashboard. And that's how we upload the MoTeC data to your dashboard. There's other functions here as well. If you'd like to edit anything from your account, click on the top menu here on my account and you can change your password or your, uh, or your email address. So once you've uploaded your file, if we go to view the leaderboards, you can see now Silverstone So the your lap time is now placed in the correct position in the leaderboard. And if we click on the car name, we can view the Motec data that came in. And here you can see all your lap data. It shows the date, the time, your lap time maximum speed, minimum speed, average speed, and which car you set, and your username. And the race league system also lets you compare lap times. So from this drop down menu, we can select a faster lap time, someone who set a faster lap time, and click compare. And it will show both lap times together on the same chart. So you can see where you lost time. Or where you gained time. And this should help you to improve your laps. And also I've created a, a, a handy fuel calculator. So let's say you're doing uh, an hour race, one hour. Your average lap time, let's say it's um, let's say it's Spa. So let's say a two nineteen point five. And the average average fuel consumption is probably about four point two on Spa. So you can see that for an hour's race. At this average lap time, we're going to need 108 litres of fuel. And it's going to be roughly 25 laps, 26 laps. But here's the recommended amount of fuel. So it's uh, a little bit more than the actual fuel. And plus, it recommends another lap of fuel if you're doing a, a formation lap. So feel free to use this, it's uh, on the Race League website at the top menu here. See you on the track.